What's up? Welcome back to the channel. My wife booked us a camping trip in Canton in East Texas. I decided we go big or we go home. And we just grab my two loader rods, the extra heavy and the extra extra heavy. We throw just big baits. So I'm really pumped about my ghost. I definitely take my, definitely take my ghost. Definitely take my ghost. I took already my reels off and I'm gonna pack the rods back in that plastic tube that came with. I have to put them in the back of my truck because my wife and our two dogs come with us and all the the baggage so it's gonna get super tight in the truck okay let's pack okay we just got here that's the house and over there looks already pretty dope fish that channel here in a little bit because there's shadow right now, and there's a dog. So, gonna fish that. I'm excited, let's go. Dokey. Oh. There we go. Not much bigger as my K9, but we got one. Oh, but you got hooked on the right spot. Look at this. He went for the face, so he really wanted it. Then I hooked him in the back also. Oh, shit, you got all three hook points, dude. Hey, hey. What a pretty bass. Nice, pretty dark bass. A little thinker. Okay, we caught a first bass. Not a big one. <laughs> Not much bigger as the K9, but we we caught one. And look at this. this little cute house. That's the house where we stay. And here is that palm. It's that big island in the middle. And here, eight or nine more ponds in that whole area here. Not far apart. And we're just 30 minutes away from Lake Fork, so I think we can catch something. Good. Let's go. So we got one on the K9 and it's about to get dark and there's a lot going on on top water so tied up the joker and let's have let's throw the joker in the ghost. But no joke, throwing the joker is besides the body size the same <laughs> terror on the water as a ghost. This thing is so much fun. It's like super intimidating to throw because you, I don't know, you're afraid every every time you cast that thing, you cast it off. But I'm getting there. Oh, shit. Cut the workshop. Those are the DRT shark hooks. They have the barb on the outside instead of the inside. It's the first time using hooks like this <clears throat> for me. Leave me a comment down below if you use them already or if you know someone who used them and what you think about it. Um, I never cut a fish on it so far, so it's the first time using them today actually. So I have no opinions, just looks cool <laughs> and it's something different. Okay, I keep grinding here before the sun goes down and we can catch another one. So, just left the house. The tiny clash rigged up. Uh, signs that fish yesterday didn't look so healthy 
try it with the tiny. <laughs> what is a turtle? The wind blows today from the other side. So it, might, it might be good. You don't know. It looks actually so good here. I can't imagine that there is no pass. Oh, I got one. I think he's better. No, not much better. Ooh, bottle. No. Catch and release. Okay, this one was a little bit better as yesterday. At least healthier. So water is like warm warm, like warm warm. And I'm not sure if they're on the bats here already or not because here are like lighter spots, but I'm not sure if that's actually bats because they're not really big or he's really not much bass in there, but I can't imagine he has not much, much bass in there. That's actually, they're apparently stalked. I saw a bunch of bluegill. I can't imagine he has not a bunch of bass in there too. The tiny clash from like swim bait point, it's six inch with the V-tail, I think it's seven or six and a half. And it's really a confident bait for me because I'm always catching with them. It doesn't matter what conditions, I always can make them commit to it. And my ghost queen, we caught yesterday night on one on him. She just pulls attention. Like that shark cruise. Crazy. Got one. Whee. Okay, buddy. Got another small one. Nothing crazy. Too quick. There we go. Looks a little bit healthier as the one yesterday, but they're all not too good <laughs> doing here. See if this one swims a little bit better. Cause the one from yesterday didn't swim at all. Woo! This one swims. Okay, we cut already two. Two, two, two. I don't know how you do this in the state. Two, two. That was the best. Leave me a comment down below and tell me how you say two. Like I know Americans or England do three or three, Germans do three. So I'll do two. <laughs> Change spots a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but a little bit. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> or like at least bumped it. But in the face. Hope there's a fat mama. Okay. 
I don't want to waste my time too much on the bats because I actually plan to don't bat fish anymore really anyways I mean if I pass one and there's like a monster sitting I'll probably take a shot but I'm actually planning to you know don't go out with bat fish because it's kind of like not so cool again you're a baby dude pretty baby you're all so skinny why are you all so skinny I'm pretty but skinny hey guys let's go in a different direction I saw when we went and get coffee I saw there's a creek running over here and I think that creek is connected to other ponds like I know there are other ponds but I think the creek is connected to other ponds and let's try the other ponds okay let's go quick down here and check this part of the creek and if there's nothing we go to the ponds because it's already later on the day and i don't want to waste too much more time because <clears throat> if it's spawn time right now oh what was that Oh, that's a big, this was a big old turtle. That's a big old snapping turtle, <laughs> not a bass. I saw her now. Good. She was probably sunbathing. Yo, this was a really fat snapping turtle. Yeah, we don't want to catch her. Too bad, too sad. Okay, let's go to the next spot. Little old paw. You never know. Come on, that's a good one, that's the best one so far. There we go. <laughs> that's the best bass we caught all day, all weekend so far. Nice little fatty in a itty bitty pond. Let's go catch some more. Okay, let that guy go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was tight. <laughs> that little itty bitty pond here holds so far the biggest fish. So let's fish all the way around here and then move on to the next one. Let's go. Oh, uh, knot is not looking good. Oh my god, I did that knot three times. And another one. Look at this. <laughs> Same size. Oh fuck, I hooked. Oh, dude, you don't move. You're lucky, I hooked him right over the eye. Ah, oh, dude, I don't want to hurt you. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think his eye is good. That's perfect. I like that a lot. Another pretty fish, that's definitely a different one. <laughs> okay, this is fish number two. See on that little pond. Let this guy go as well. Okay, let's walk around. I don't want to spend too much time here. If those little ponds are loaded like this. Hey, we're back. You know what was, Oh, someone was fishing it across the sinker.
There we go. That's a nice heavy fish. I'll see. Look at this, guys. That's the fattest fish here today. She's spawning, definitely. She has a red tail. So I put her back quick in the water. And if we don't can make anything commit, we're gonna change to the K9 in Queen. Hopefully we can pull a little bit more tension with that. Come on. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely a female. <laughs> Get some shoulder with her. So guys, right after we caught the first one, a minute later, we caught this fatty here. And she is no joke. Those fish are so... Those fish are so wild off, it's crazy. <laughs> okay guys, there she is. Letting her go. Hey, mommies. So we just got back. We've been crushing him today. This catter took a chili. <laughs> and the puppies are chilling in the bathroom. <laughs> in case I'm early enough tomorrow, we're gonna hit the pond again, but we have to be out here by 11, so. Maybe, maybe not. We will see. 